Hi everyone, my name is Harvey Sapigo and I will be talking about my work this summer about communicating topics in Earth and Space Science. For my final project, I gathered different people from BMSIS to have a roundtable discussion about why astrobiology matters. The panelists for the discussion are Priya Dasharma, BMSIS representative and YSP mentor, Anurup Mahanti, a visiting scholar and a 2020 YSP graduate, Ana Maria Beria, a research investigator and YSP mentor focused on economics, data science, and astrobiology, and Sivsong Karpali, a fellow YSP research associate. To start the conversation, I shared one of my first experiences with astrobiology. About a decade ago, I was watching the news when they reported that NASA found an exoplanet that could potentially harbor life. I remember being so amazed and excited at the time that I couldn't forget the image they flashed on screen, which is the one you are seeing now. The next day, I was walking home with my friends after school, and I just kept staring at the clear sky, imagining what kinds of life are out there and all the possibilities that the universe could offer. That was one of the most impactful experiences I had with, with astrobiology. I asked the panelists if they have similar stories they could share, and these are their answers. Mrs. Priya Dasharma shared the time when her parents held up to the sky to watch the U.S. landing on the moon. She said, I knew that there was supposed to be much up there, beyond what we could see, but the moon was the only heavenly body that I could see. So I guess I was born at the time when space was a mystery that was being solved. A few decades later, she gathered her family to watch the moon landing of Chandrayaan-3. Dr. Ana Maria Beria always wanted to become a scientist since she was a kid but she also has a wide interest in different fields. The exposure to astrobiology came later in her life, saying, I came to discover astrobiology only after I finished my PhD, and I really like the interdisciplinarity aspect of it, and that I can apply everything I learned elsewhere over here. Anurup Mohanty got his knock for biology from her father who holds a master's degree in horticulture. While studying biotechnology, he said, I saw a poster of an analog Mars rover team called Buddha, which happened to be the only team that recruited people from bioengineering. I had to apply, and fortunately made it into the team. That was my first exposure to astrobiology and biosignatures. Now, he is pursuing a doctorate's degree related to astrobiology. Sipsongar Palit loved chemistry since his secondary school days. One of the shows that fostered his interest in astrobiology is The Cosmos Possible Worlds Documentary. The show, he said, also taught him about their central role of chemistry in his fields. Our discussion went on to cover the philosophical, ethical, and personal facets of astrobiology. Some of the highlights that I like is that when I asked the panelists, how does your interest in astrobiology influence your worldview, philosophies, and religious beliefs, I not mentioned that he's a picture of doing science for the sake of science. He cited that Leeuwenhoek did not mean to discover a new field of research called microbiology when his intentions were to only check the quality of fabrics under a lens. Another discussion we had is about the act of bioprosthetic. Ms. Priya mentioned the TAC polymerase, an enzyme that made DNA replication cheap and easy. The TAC polymerase came from Thermos aquaticus, a thermophile found in the Yellowstone Park. The TAC polymerase became a lucrative form of income, but only to the companies that make them not the Yellowstone Park from where the enzyme is derived, or the researchers that made the discovery. To wrap up the discussion, I asked the panelists what they would say when someone asked them, why study astrobiology? What's the point? Anuru put it eloquently when he said that humans have this innate curiosity to explore the unknowns, and astrobiology is more about Earth than it's about space, because that's the only example of life, and we haven't fully understood our life and its origins. And that is some of the highlights of my project for this year's Summer's Young Scientist Program. Complete roundtable discussion is hopefully available online for everyone to read. Thank you all for listening.